Hi, can you hear me? Yes, you got blue braids. Um, it's lilac. Oh, lilac, <laughs> excuse me. Esther, is your name Esther? Yes, mm -hmm. Esther. Where are you calling mm -hmm. me from, honey? Uh, Dallas, Texas. Dallas is a big place right now. Getting a lot of Dallas, Texas people. Dallas, how old are you? Uh, I'm 35. 35. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in clinical research. Clinical research. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm a Virgo. A Virgo. So we got Esther, Dallas, Texas, 35, Virgo. Clinical research, no kids, 35. Um, I think I got it all. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man who's a man man, um, who wants to start a family, who's loyal, kind, um, gentle, um, wants to be a provider. Um, yeah, things like that. Oh, they want to be a provider, a man's man. Okay, we'll get to the money later. What's your deal breakers? <laughs> um, deal breakers. Um, I'm a feminine girl, so I kind of want someone to take the lead. Um, I so I'm not interested in any beta males. Um, I I can go with a guy who has kids, but only one, um, and somebody who takes things seriously. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hell. She taking me out with them teeth. I feel like she about to just pull out a carrot and start eating it. But here we go, man. Where we at with this, Mr. Walker? <laughs> Listen, she says she a feminine woman, man. Let that woman say hello. Huh? She likes to put pretty lilac colors in her hair. She feminine, Tony. She says she feminine. She looking for a man to come lead her. She ain't looking for no betas. Calm down. Let her cook. She may have lilac hair, all right, but she ain't got on no makeup. That's for that gonna show. No lashes. This is it. Fresh face out the shower. Lilac hair. We here now. Enjoy. All right, hit the like button. Um, let's get to the money because you said no beta mouse. He gotta be a provider. So do we gotta make a certain amount of money to date you? Um, I would say probably more than me. So probably like eighty-five. Okay. So 85 is the minimum? Yes. So if a man made 70K, he shouldn't DM you? Mm, no, he can. So the 85K is not the minimum? No, I mean, I think it's like, it really just depends, but I, I prefer someone or at least around my range or higher. Okay. 85K. Ah! Where? Where? The fact that this sister comes up here with this presentation, understand, please, please. It's called lack of self-aware. She's not <laughs> lack of self-awareness. She has no idea what she is presenting to the sexual marketplace. Otherwise, she would not have asked for a man to be making a minimum of 85K if she knew her place in her lane. Sister. You are Mr. 40 Hour Short Frumpy Blowed Out Brother at Absolute Bestest. Simmer down. Please, y'all got to stop. And shout out to my guy Ty Pro in the Cash App. He says, Cigar Lit. Uncle Don poured up. He says, Happy Father's Day, SBC Nation. Happy Father's Day, that Don, Don Julio. <laughs> so we appreciate you. And Seven Day Rester, he says, If Lizzo ate Lizzo looking at. God, dog. Lizzo hate Lizzo. Here we go. Hit the like button. Stand up. There we go. All right. Now, we did any more deal breakers? Um, hmm. Um, I know this is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but possibly no Nigerians. So I'm not interested in Nigerians. So no Nigerians, <laughs> theory, or no Nigerians that are in Nigeria? Both. <laughs> Okay, no Nigerian men. Um, so um, also, I'm oh, sorry. Also, um, also someone who's not open-minded and open to like different cultures because my family's originally from Kenya. So, um, you know, someone, someone who wants to travel, someone who's not like who doesn't want to travel to Africa specifically. Because I mean, I would go, I go to Africa back and forth. So, so would you date a yeah. Kenyan man? Yeah, I would. 
Okay, you still want a Nigerian man? No. Okay. Should he um, look a certain way? And y'all know Kendra's man is Nigerian. Uh, Kendra feels some shade. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Kendra. You don't. She ain't talking about your man. <laughs> um, no, I'm not really big on looks. I'm more about what's on the inside. Okay. We got to the money. So preference is 85K. She will make mm -hmm. exceptions if it makes sense. Yes. That's it, Kendra Cam. Okay. Okay. We see you, Mama. All right. No, we don't. I see them uh them stains on the ceiling from the roof leaking. That's about all I see. Oh <laughs> <laughs> That is the worst thing to walk into a house. See them dang on water marks. So you got to figure out what it leak at. Hated that. Listen here, man. That good, good display. Time's out. We always say if you frumpy and unshapely, you need to wear something where your clothing articles don't touch too much of your skin. So, you know, so you ain't showing unsightly rolls and creases and crevices. So, yeah, she did a quick spin. So you can't see any pouches, no. pudges, or pouches? She ain't got no kids. She's almost 40. Sound good. It's a 40-year-old woman, childless, and blowed out. Uh, yeah. I know. Huh. <laughs> I know. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, well, I try. I try. I be trying to help y'all and die again, man. But y'all keep coming with the same madness. Blow out asking for something you don't qualify for and something they ain't never gonna work to qualify for. It's just it's madness. Yeah, as Mucho say. Ooh, ooh. The big backs, the big back holes. Ooh, ooh. She ain't lying. Biggest, she ain't lying. That's the biggest thing, ladies. You have no kids, you have no excuse, no rational reason that you are big or blowed out. You really don't try to explain it. Hunt, please let me hear it. Big boned it, hereditary. Try again. And classy perspective. He says with the 10 ball, I'm sorry. Dallas has way, way too many beautiful women. It's the Los Angeles of the South. Sorry, sister. She comes, she comes across a lot of Nigerians. They reside in Dallas and Houston. Mm. They've been coming in there, knocking her down and leaving. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button. All right, sure. So your braids, let me see these braids again. They're lilac, so like purple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just I wanted to match the seasons. <laughs> you wanted to match the seasons. Okay. Yes. All right. So should the guy be in Dallas? Um, no, I'm not I'm not picky where he is. Okay. Um when was the last time? When was your last relationship? Um, so I was divorced. I got divorced in March. You got divorced in March. You got divorced in March. Okay. Um, oh, I, I, that, I did forget to ask you when you have you ever been married. How long was you married yeah. for? Um, about a year. Oh, why'd you guys get divorced? Um, he's a liar. I should actually add that to the deal breakers. <laughs> what did he lie about? Um, he lied about a lot of things about his background, past, things of that nature. So I had to, Was I had to let him go. No, no, he wasn't. Oh, okay, I was say maybe. <laughs> okay, I was trying to figure out because you have the strong. Like my mind is thinking. Okay, was that where it came from? Where her strong, no Nigerian deal breaker. Okay. So no, I'm just... <laughs> you were you were married. You were married for a year. You got divorced when again? Last year? In, in March. Of this year? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. So you're recently divorced. It's like three months. Mm hmm Okay. Um, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Um, when I, uh, I guess, March. <laughs> Okay, so your ex-husband. Mm -hmm. Okay, three. Mm. Over the system. I I can't take her serious with that hair. Like she looked like she belonged on Sesame Street. She was just married. She was married three months ago. 
She claimed she was married for roughly a year. And now freshly divorced, and now you back out here looking for another man. Did we not see how funky this is? Like you was engaged in a whole unholy matrimony to some to some pathetic ninja up here lying to you about his past. Don't know, don't know the details. Some couch negro coming to eat all her bologna and fruit snacks. And now a man gotta come and make an 85k. And we know your ex won't make an 85k. Cause you would have still been with him, I would imagine. Stop the madness. And my God, divine. <laughs> like I was just saying, that hair is just unsightly. And she says, if the blue mop hair wasn't bad enough, she's wearing a tablecloth blouse. <laughs> it says, Bugs, Bunny, Goofy looking tea. Yeah, that's why I say it looks like she's going to break a carrot out any minute. And she has a lot of reevaluating to do. Bye, mop, Keisha. If she had a husband, Kev used to always say you don't get no better than the, the father of your child. Is it safe to say if you done married and enter into unholy matrimony with a secretive couch negro, that it's a strong chance that your next man ain't going to be exactly desirable? That part. So mm -hmm. that being said, we're going to let her get some space here. There we go. That hair might do well up there. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. Listen mm. here. That hair serves a purpose. She out there in outer space now. And if you turn off all the lights and you look up, some nights you can see a lilac, a lilac streak <laughs> shooting across the sky. That's from Quisha. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to keep it moving. Hit the like button if you just came in.